Why don't you buy something? You may be ashamed.
will not let you escape this time. You'll never get your wish, Valkyrie. Confront me all you want, but you cannot change my resolve. Go back and inform the Demon Lord. I will not listen to your pleas. You have no choice in the matter. If you insist that you will not repair the cauldron... That evil spear and my chain are both ciphers. If we battle, it will be a serious affair. You're hesitating. Bluffing will only get you so far. If you value your life, obey the king. You ignorant fool. You cut short your own life by meddling in my affairs. Using the crystallization cauldron will doom the entire world. That accursed cauldron served as a trigger to the horror that befell my native country of Valentine. It is Cataclysm's womb, and it should not exist. The great magical country of Valentine is said to have been destroyed overnight. I am aware of the story that you describe. The Valentine prophecies say the world will be destroyed by five disasters. One of those five involves a furnace that spews despair. You say that line refers to the Crystallization Cauldron. Tis but a rumor from a ruined land. War will spread across the world. The winning country will rule over the entire land. Your country's ambition is merely a convenient lie for the Demon Lord. Do you imply that my king is deceiving everyone? I will not hear this mockery! Stop this nonsense! I shall take your life if I must! Both of you, 
Cease fighting! Father! Why are you here? I had a premonition of something like this, so I came here. Odin. I cannot allow you to hurt one another. Gwendolyn, step away. Do not interrupt what I have to say. Velvet, you look so much like your mother. <sighs> My dear daughter, why are daughter? you acting against me? Do not call me your daughter. Do you think I am a fool? While the nations of Valentine and Ragnanova were at war, you disguised yourself and seduced my mother, the princess, with sweet words. And you were quick to flee when she became pregnant. Because my mother gave birth to an enemy's child, she was executed for loving you. It is the same as if you had killed her yourself. That is not true, my child. We did not know each other's real names, nor our ranks. I did not run away from her. We were torn apart. I truly love the princess. Father... Lies! If you loved my mother, who is this other daughter here? I do not think of you as my father, and I have no desire to help you. <laughs> well, well. I followed the king and stumbled into a royal spat. Fraternizing with the enemy. Who could have guessed? Brigand. Although their demise was sudden, Valentine was still our enemy. And while the battle raged, the king had an affair with their princess and even had a child. Deary me, the subjects will be most upset. But as I am a loyal servant of my king, I will carry this secret to my grave. But that cauldron is another story. Now come, winsome little witch. You will help us gain its might. <laughs> How did you stop the magic furnace? There must be some type of key to it. Speak, witch, if you value your life. Even if I told you, there is nothing you could do. The cauldron may only be controlled by a ring named Tetrell. A terrible dragon holds the ring presently. Wagner, feared by all, keeps the ring within his stomach. How could this be? Wagner of all things. My lord, what do you plan for the girl who has harmed our country so? If we cannot use the cauldron's magic, the inevitable final battle shall be a recreation of the awful war against Valentine. How are we to inform the soldiers and the citizens? I know. We must sacrifice her flesh to the dragon and retrieve the ring. Command me to sacrifice the witch. Suppress everyone's anger with blood! Uh. Hmm, I sense my king is not content. Is there any reason to protect this witch? Is there anything at all between our king and his daughter from an enemy land? Brigan, you... Ah, oh, sire, I hear your command. The witch shall be sacrificed. Away with her! <laughs> <laughs> 